From Mexico to Louisiana, the Red River down to the Laguna Madre, Texas is one big playground. Join professional bass fisherman and three-time FLW Angler of the Year, Clark Wendland, as he takes you on some of the best outdoor adventures the Lone Star State has to offer. This is Fishing and Hunting Texas. In the state of Texas, hunting is big. According to the Texas Park and Wildlife Department, more than half a million hunters take to the fields every fall in search of whitetail. But with public hunting areas taking up less than 12% of the state, what are the options? Most deer hunting in Texas is done on private leases. You actually go in, you contract with a landowner, and you actually discuss how many deer you can actually hunt. We've got a great lease. We're on the Pardonalis River, Texas Hill Country, Cedar Oak Country. Last year we killed a beautiful deer in this country, 155, which is absolutely huge for here. It's gonna be a fun season. We got a lot of scouting pictures of big deer. We got a lot of pigs. It'll be really fun. Joining Clark on this week's show is family friend, Shane Dykey, along with Clark's brother and cameraman, Scott Wendlett. You know, here we are, we're in the middle of the hill country on our lease, and, and there's a lot of smaller land holdings around here and a few larger ones. And, but there's a lot of mature bucks, and it surprises, frankly, a little bit uh, that what we've seen on the cameras and hunting last year. I think there's just pockets of cover here that, that the deer can get away from the hunting pressure. I think the thing about hunting a small piece of property like this is that you have to kind of figure out what's going on, and you can't live just within the context of hope and putting up a blind here and a blind there, but getting out those game cameras has blown my mind about uh, what actually exists. Hunting in the thick of things requires some dedication and preparation. Whitetail hunting is a lot of work. On this ranch right here, cedar is the easiest way to build a good stand. So we kind of build a framework. And what we've really decided is, is the shooter needs a small window. He doesn't need a gigantic window. He needs some small windows. The camera needs to be able to see everything because you want to see those deer coming. That's what we're looking for. And so, you know, we all get in there. We basically got to sweat and get after it. So this is the second year that Scott and Clark and I have been hunting together on this lease. And I think what I enjoy about it is the intensity that these guys bring to whitetail deer hunting. For the most part, I grew up kind of doing this and you know, you would go sit in a blind and you would look and you would see what happened. But the level of intensity, expertise, passion, zeal, craziness, however you want to put it. I mean, the fact that we're out here four weeks before the season starts and we basically sweat in 105 degree temperature, you know, building brush blinds. Uh, it just shows the level of intensity and it, and it pays off and that's what's really amazing about it because we actually see an incredible result because we put the time, effort and energy. Well coming up all the work's done, now it's time to head to the field right here on Fishing and Hunting Texas with your host Clark Wendland. It's in our stomping grounds in our playground, it's in our sights, and our commitment. It's in him, it was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. Total performance. Nowhere could it be more defined than in the Ranger Z series. With unparalleled advancements, these rigs are driven to dominate. Coupled with Evan Rude E-Tech's unrivaled performance and up to 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance, they're the ultimate fishing machine. The legendary leadership of the Ranger Z500 series. It's the kind of feeling nothing else can touch. Power your Ranger with Evan Rude E-Tech. 
There's two things between an angler and the fish, the sun and the bugs. Sawyer's line of sunscreens and bug sprays keep you focused on the fish. Sawyer's Stay Put Sunscreen Formula bonds with your skin for a more comfortable and better level protection. And Picarid and Insect Repellent will only harm the bugs, never your fishing gear. Also, Sawyer Permethrin repels and kills on contact over 55 species of insects. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. These are my Strike King S11s. Get your own. Fishing and Hunting Texas is brought to you in part by Cabela's. It's in your nature. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin, the power of simple. This is rugged, rugged country. It's the hill country. It's burning hot still, you know, early, early September in Texas. And we're out here getting stands ready, but we also got a mindset that, hey, there's lots of pigs in this country. You know, the, the three game animals that we really can hunt here are turkey. We had a great spring turkey season last year. Pigs, we've had a lot of encounters with pigs, and we know we're going to get some chances and then big mature whitetails. So while we're hunting mature whitetails all year, we're gonna be trying to kill some pigs. We love eating them, they've been great for us. It's always a target opportunity. And hey, today, this afternoon, we're gonna have a chance to hunt. As it stands now, I'm the camera guy, and, and that's great, I have fun doing it. It's real rewarding to get, get good footage, but, uh, but I might have a chance to hunt this year at a pig or a deer, and, and you know, I'll welcome that chance. That'll be a great opportunity. And we've got a black and white pig and a nice buck. Just waiting for a little bit better light, perfect distance. Maybe I can make a good shot. We'll see. So, so we came out uh, in the morning and, and got there early, got in the blind, got set up. Clark got behind the camera and, and figured out how to make all that work and it worked great. And we, uh, you know, fortunately a pig came in. He came in real early. We had to wait about 15 minutes. And that just drove me nuts. Clark said, wait, wait, wait. And I was ready to shoot. And finally, there got to be enough light. There's never been anybody that I've ever been around that wants to shoot quicker than my brother. I mean, it's like when he sees it, he's ready to pull the trigger. And so he's like, are you ready, are you ready? And I'm like, no, I'm not ready yet. I don't have the footage I need yet. Are you ready? No. Perfect. All right, you ready? Yeah. Finally, I said, okay, he, he draws that thing back, made a perfect shot. shot man he, he was perfect for 15 minutes and we just had to wait for better light and, and there was a buck in the way and i had to let him get out of the way he finally did and i'm just so nervous i don't i mean it's just hard to tell where the arrow impacted it's a little bit too dark we heard him thrashing around we're going to give him some time i mean we just i just don't want to go push him and and uh and lose him it's a perfect size pig maybe 60 pounds black and white saddleback pig man come shot that pig about 30 minutes ago. We're gonna go see if we got him. I think we did. Hey, there's the arrow. Shot that pig about right here. Shot that pig, he, he was probably standing about right here. 
23 yards and, and then he turned and here's the arrow. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's covered in blood. So the, I, I shot the uh, Cabela's Instinct mechanical broadhead and wow, that, that, that broadhead just passed right through that pig, made a gaping hole on each side. We had a, just a painted blood trail. Didn't really need it, the pig only went 20 yards. Uh, so I, I just was really impressed with, uh, with what that broadhead was able to do. There he is, all right. Didn't go far, wow. Absolutely covered in blood. Look at that. Man, that's awesome. Man, look at that. That's a little boar. All right. Man, I hit him slap perfect. Uh, I thought I shot low. I just couldn't tell. That, those. Those arrows were just so fast, that bow so fast, that when I shot, I thought, well, maybe I hit him a little low, but it, I mean, it hit him just right behind the shoulder, you know, mid-body, and wow, all right, man. So, so on the lease, I'm known as the deer guy, the camera guy, but now I'm known as the pig guy. Coming up, the Cabela's game cameras have done their job. Now it's time to put that intel to use. We're hunting whitetails next on Fishing and Hunting Texas. Hey, we're here at Cabela's in Buda, Texas, big game country, checking out some of these awesome deer. You can't help but get pumped up. And talking about getting pumped up, go check out our Fishing and Hunting Texas website. Like us on our Facebook page, message us, let us know where you'd like to see us go in this great state. We'd love to hear from you. Experience High Viz, a brighter sight picture than standard sights, giving you an immediate, more successful shooting performance. High Viz lets you see a dramatic contrast between the target and the barrel for a more intuitive aim that delivers instant results. Our light pipes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, designed to be seen in a variety of conditions. With our broad line of sights, you'll see your marksmanship dramatically improve, bringing more fun and confidence into every shooting experience. Shoot more accurately. Enjoy the sport. Choose High Viz. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. Every day, your eyes are exposed to dust, debris, and wind. Only Wiley X removable gaskets block it all out and your eyes remain safe. Wiley X, absolute premium protection for sportsmen. When you're out hunting, make sure you're carrying Grove Tech. Grove Tech is designed specifically for the rigorous demands of the hunt and sets the standard for strength and ruggedness when out in the field. Grove Tech products have simply built the best tools for the job and are proudly made in the USA. Go hunt. We'll carry the gun. Grove Tech. Fishing and Hunting Texas is brought to you in part by Strike King Lure Company and Optics. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. And by High Viz Shooting Systems. See what you've been missing. Welcome back. We're in Central Texas on a small lease located deep in the hill country. This is game rich environment that's well managed to ensure quality hunting for years to come. You know, you got to have something in common with the people that you actually lease land with. You want to make sure everybody's goals are the same. And if so, you're going to have a great experience. 
So what we want to do is harvest mature bucks. We, we deem a mature buck to be five and a half years old. He just has reached his prime at that point. His body is, is fully mature. Uh, he, he's going to have been a breeder for a few years, uh, potentially, and he, he's a full-grown, wary deer that's going to be difficult to hunt. Even on small Texas leases, it's hard to be sure of the quality of deer that thrive in the thick brush, and game cameras have become an essential tool for hunters. There's a big eight-pointer that uh, we saw last year. Uh, that was a, we, we deemed him four and a half last year. He's, he's a high-beam deer uh, with, with kind of high beams, and he goes real straight forward. Um, he, last year, he had a little point off his base, doesn't have that this year, but he, he looks virtually identical. Very dark colored deer, very recognizable face, big white eye patches. He, he's just a very distinct deer. This morning we came in and it was barely light. We had a 10 point right out in front of us, a young deer that we knew pretty well. And all of a sudden we're kind of on lockdown and totally still. But it wasn't too much longer. A couple of other small bucks kind of came through and then we could hear this deer, we could hear him grunting over to the side. And he finally made it out and then he circled all the way back around and then he came back in to where he was in a good place for us to shoot. So a couple of years ago, Clark actually had to, started talking to me about, you know, starting to bow hunt. And I tell you, it so ramps up the intensity of a hunt. You know, a deer, a big, beautiful buck like that 15, 20 yards from me, and you're trying to figure out how to be still, how to draw. Um, I, I just, it, I don't know if I could ever go back because it's such an exciting experience to be that, that tight. But one key is I practice so, I practice so much more this year than I have in the past. And so when that deer was out at 31, 32 yards, I was feeling very confident about the ability to make that shot. Well, when I drew, I mean, it's pretty open. When I drew, I got about three quarters of the way back and, and both the doe in front and he, both of them looked up at me. When there's just no wind like that and you draw a bow kind of on ground level with the deer at 30 yards, they're gonna see you. And, and they did, but he went ahead and finished the draw, got, his, got locked on the deer and made a perfect shot on that. Man, what a great deer. I, I was lucky enough to not be that far away. They texted me when they shot that deer. I headed that way. And they had actually seen it actually fall over. So I got to you know be there as they walked up. We walked up together. Man, what a what a great deal. Man, awesome. I can see him from here. Look at him. That's incredible. Oh man. God. He's bigger than what I thought he was. Cool deer. Look at that. That's cool. Oh man, look at this. This is where he was. He was rubbing this morning, wasn't he? This morning. I mean, we could hear him. We could hear him grunting and we could hear him rubbing. We knew he was about 20 some odd yards away, right through the brush. We couldn't see him at all. And then he kind of came out and he was about he's chasing this little doe around, but he was, look at that. That's that is so That's awesome. Really I mean, the whole key for us is we've been wanting to shoot mature bucks and we had yeah. identified this deer as mature. It's got this ninth point kind of out on the end and y'all, y'all saw him and came in. I mean, so what was the hunt like? Well, I mean, the thing is, this is another game camera deer. You know, we only seen this deer just from last week, right? And then uh, came in this morning, and God, we weren't sitting but a little bit, and we had deer in front of us, so we, we, we had to be still the whole morning. And he came in down the lane a little bit, a little bit dark, just chasing doe everywhere, just chasing doe. Came in, wasn't sure he was going to come back, and then finally heard him, heard him over there, and then, boom, he came out in front of us, 30 yards. Bam. <gasps> It's exciting. <laughs> it's All right. Exciting, That's awesome. That's a super good deer, That's man. It. It's in our stomping grounds and our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him 
It was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. There's two things between an angler and the fish, the sun and the bugs. Sawyer's line of sunscreens and bug sprays keep you focused on the fish. Sawyer's Stay Put Sunscreen Formula bonds with your skin for a more comfortable and better level protection. And Picarid and Insect Repellent will only harm the bugs, never your fishing gear. Also, Sawyer Permethrin repels and kills on contact over 55 species of insects. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. My Strike King S11s. Get your own. Experience high vis. A brighter sight, better than standard sights, giving you an immediate, more successful shooting performance. High vis lets you see a dramatic contrast between the target and the barrel for a more intuitive aim that delivers instant results. Our light pipes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, designed to be seen in a variety of conditions. With our broad line of sights, you'll see your marksmanship dramatically improve, bringing more fun and confidence into every shooting experience. Shoot more accurately. Enjoy the sport. Choose high vis. Fishing and Hunting Texas is brought to you in part by Wiley X, absolute premium protection. Arctic Ice, we put the cool in cooler. And by Grove Tech, go hunt, we'll carry the gun. Welcome back. We're on the hunt for big Texas whitetails with the Wendlet brothers and family friend Shane Dykey. Scott Wendlet got things started when he harvested a 60 pound feral pig that will provide pork chops for weeks to come. And not to be outdone, Shane got in on the action when a nice buck showed up within bow range. This was all made possible through the work put in over the off season. You know, I spend a ton of time on my lease, especially pre-season, getting everything ready, getting the stand set up, getting the scouting cameras out, getting, getting your thoughts on where deer are moving, looking at sign, maybe it be, you know, maybe it be rubs, maybe it be scrapes, maybe it just be trails. Random check of the Cabela's game cameras revealed quite a surprise. We'd never seen that deer before. About a week before we actually made that hunt, we had one picture of that deer on a scouting camera, on the Cabela scouting camera. And, and then we, we came back a week later, we were gonna hunt a different location. We were gonna hunt the ladder stand. And we decided to check the camera and he had been on there, you know, two or three of the previous days. So we made just a snap decision to hunt that spot and it just worked out beautifully. We, we were, we'd seen several deer, seen some few other bucks and a lot of doe, and just all of a sudden I saw this big buck coming from the, from the left side, and uh, it, it just, I, I really immediately recognized it was that deer, I was just certain. And then sure enough, we, we got the deer kind of coming through the brush and, and, and we were certain it was him and he, and he came out and presented a, a, a long shot, but a good shot. Clark just made a great shot on that deer. Whew. Oh, that's 
absolutely just creamed the big old buck. Man, we got in here, we had no idea, no idea we were gonna see anything like that. We got here today, looked at the pictures on the scouting camera, and all of a sudden this big old buck's on there. We got a feeder there for pigs and for deer also, but there hadn't been any bucks on this feeder all year long. And all of a sudden, boom, man, there's big old bucks all of a sudden on there. Boom! He was barely quartered away. I think I made a perfect shot. I don't think I could have hit him any better than that. <laughs> Man, what a feeling. I mean, there's just nothing like it. When you know that deer's on the ground, you know all your hard work, the whole season has gone into you know, that moment and the harvesting of that deer and, and, and you made it happen. And, and it's, it's a victory for everybody. You know, Scott's shooting on the camera, um, you know, Shane's there, but we're all pulling for each other to kill a big mature deer. Hey, got here as fast as hey, I could. Hey, thanks for coming, man. I shot that big 11, but it's getting dark. Let's go Let's see go. what we can find. Oh my gosh, look at this bad boy. <laughs> look at that. That is a beautiful deer, man. Look at that. I mean, this deer basically, basically this deer just shows up. And I mean, that's what the scouting cameras can do for yeah, you. There's no exactly. doubt about it. I mean, First time you saw him, what, yesterday? Today? Couple, couple days ago. Couple we saw days. one picture of him about a week ago, and then we came in today, and he, he's kind of died back in. I mean, look at all that. That sucker's been rutting hard. He was pretty hard quartered away. I thought I hit him put right here, but when they get hard quartered away, I think it it went right up there. Bread basket, man, that's awesome. That guy, long beams. Look at the beams on that guy. That is too awesome right there. Man, that's been a lot of work this year. Now I'll tell you. I mean, we <laughs> we have hunted and hunted and hunted. Shane, come here. That's man. amazing. We, we have hunted hard and you know what what really sh I mean persistence pays off there's no doubt about it what what kind of happened is is it was really dry and, and most of the footage you'll see early on is all real dry then it rained and got green and it got tough the hunting got a lot tougher rut came on acorns everywhere green just, stuff just everywhere. green stuff I everywhere. mean it's just it's, just tough. it's, it's tough but <laughs> hey that's the payoff right there. right there that's awesome <laughs> look at that big old 11 pointer Golly. Well, we didn't even know this deer existed. No. Just burnt. Nothing earlier. There he is. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the show. If you get the opportunity, go check out our website. Like us on our Facebook page. Let us know where you'd like to see us go all around this great state. We'd love to hear from you. Hey, a big thanks to our sponsors for helping to make this week's show happen. And thanks to those of you that have made Fishing and Hunting Texas one of the longest-running outdoor shows on television.